So I'm going to be showing you all how I airbrush and how I refill the back end of my nails. So as you can tell, I'm going to zoom in and make sure we are in focus. Um, and babe is wandering around the apartment with my aunt, so she's going to be sitting around. You might hear her every so often, but that's fine. Um, so I am going to go around with my Dremel tool which is, is what I have. So I'm gonna be showing you every, a little bit of everything that I do have um, that I'm gonna be using. So I have this right here, Dremel tool. I'm gonna to be using this right here on the very back end of the nails uh, to set it. Um, I have an acrylic brush right here, which is very important. Um, I do already have one other video on how to do uh, the dermal nails or fill a nail, which um, is these right here. So. They just look like regular, typical, like, forms. Um, so I have those. I do have some uh, buffing blocks. I do have my acrylic monomer that is acrylic liquid. Um, and then, of course, I have my nail primer. Nail primer is extremely important um, for priming your nails to prevent infection and stuff like that. So. Um, Anyway, so let's go ahead and get into this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my dermal tool and I'm gonna go around and clean up the back end of the nails. So I'm going to redo it again. So I'm going to dab into my acrylic monomer. Uh, I'm going to be doing this on the pointer finger. And then I'm going to dab into my acrylic powder. And grab a nice sized bead. I'm going to place it right here in the very back. And fill up the side walls. And then I'm going to press it forward. I want it thinner at the front, thicker in the back. Because that's where we're refilling the nail. And then I'm going to brush off my brush and then I'm going to put it into my um, acetone. And then I'm going to flip my form as so. And then I'm going to press it from the back going forward. And then I'm going to continue to press down on it until it is completely filled just like that um, and then I'm gonna let that sit and cure and then the form will pop off and then we're gonna shave off the excess and make sure that it's flush up here at the very top where you see this seam same thing with the thumb as well Okay, so and now that I've already went through and done these, these ones right here, I've already popped off and I already popped off those 
and I already took care of the edges as well. You'll probably see this little like white line right up here in the front, but that's fine because I already smoothed that down. And then once it's time to airbrush, then you won't even notice that. So I'm going to zoom out real quick. And then these ones right here, those ones are already hardened. So I'm going to turn, turn, pop, and then it pops off. And then you see how shiny it is. And then do the same over here. Do the same over here. And then make sure that you take those forms that you used and put them aside. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then um, you see like some little bits on the sides and stuff like that. We're going to file those off. Okay, now that I've filed the edges off on that nail right there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I take care of that weird layer right there that has like this bump on it. So I'm going to take this right here, which is a buffing board, and I'm going to use the roughest edge first, and then I'm going to use the softest edge to smooth it out. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going upwards and against the actual groove. Okay, and then I'm going to get the softest. And now it's smooth. It is completely smooth. As you can see, it is. I mean, it's still there, you can kind of see it, but it's smooth. So whenever we airbrush the nail, you won't even see that. It will not even exist. So I'm gonna go around and finish the other two and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm getting ready to airbrush. As you can tell, I already have my nails nicely shaped out just the way that I want them to. And now I'm gonna get ready to airbrush them. Um, the biggest tool to ever have whenever you're airbrushing nails or if you're trying to figure out colors and stuff besides the colors that come inside the box um, is a color wheel. A color wheel will be your best friend. So today I'm mixing green and red. I have very little red so hopefully I can get this color to work out the way that it should but however um, I have these colors right here and so I'm going to mix these colors together in our airbrush gun. Um, the airbrush equipment that I'm using, I'm going to link a video um, to where I show um, the actual equipment that I'm using. Um, because I use this not only for airbrush makeup, but I also use this for acrylic paints, which is what I use to do my nails with. Um, and so that is the brand of the company that I am using. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go ahead and open up the top end of my airbrush gun, provided that I can get it open. So, yeah. Okay, so now that I finally have that open because of this handy little tool that comes with it, um, so I'm probably most likely going to put, yeah, you'll probably hear the airbrush gun. Um, what's left of the red that I do have, as you can tell, I don't have very much left. Okay, um, and then after doing the red, I'm going to put in some green. Okay, and then I'm going to use this right here, a little Allen wrench tool to kind of mix those together and kind of get the color that I need which is going to be like this dark 
kind of like burnt green color. And the importance of this is that you want to do a spray test. Um, there is the bubbling method whenever it comes to airbrush guns. The bubbling method is you hold your pointer finger on the front end of the gun really hard and you basically allow the air to back bubble up into the chamber. Um, but I'm not going to be doing that because it sometimes can cause splashing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this piece of paper and I'm just going to start airbrushing until I see the color that I want. So that's the color that I'm wanting to see. So I'm going to put my cap back on top of my airbrush. I'm gonna make sure my lids are on my acrylic um, bottles. And this stuff does go a long way as well as it does dry very, very fast. Um, and don't be alarmed if it gets on like the sides of your finger or something like that because this stuff does not stick to skin. It actually comes off very easily. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start airbrushing my nails. And I, I want to start far away because if you go up too close, you're gonna get like a splash effect. And even knowing that is pretty cool, that's not what we're going for. We're going for a fade. So I'm gonna start far away and then I'm gonna get up close to the tip. So I want it to be a fade from back to front. And so now we have like a nice gradation fade and that's typically what I like to go for. I do like the tip to be a little bit darker than the rest. I do like how that definitely looks. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the nails. Okay, so now that we have a nice gradation fade and our nails are nicely painted, I'm going to let that dry and then we are going to do a clear coat afterwards. Okay, so now that I've already done this hand right here off camera, um, I went ahead and refilled it and buffed it and fixed the top and everything and airbrushed it. Okay, so now that we are 100% airbrushed, it's time to put our clear coat on and then let that dry before we take a bristle brush, like a uh, you know, bristle brush to take off that extra um, airbrush paint um, from the sides end of our fingers, which will make it look a lot cleaner, as you can see, like right through here. Um, but this right here so far is matte. It does have just a little bit of shine to it. I'm sorry, my airbrush <laughs> equipment was still on. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these two. I'm going to be using these right here brands to um, do the polish on my nails. So one is a top coat, one is a base coat. So we're gonna do the base coat first. Um, I like to shake up these first and then what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to open that up and put that on a hard surface and on the towel 
and I'm going to start by my pointer finger first. I'm going to start at the top of the finger and then go to the back end of the finger. Okay, so that is really, really shiny now. As you can tell, I love it whenever they're this shiny. And then of course, once I do the top coat and I am done bristling them and they are 100% dry, I use this right here. This right here is a cuticle oil. This cuticle oil is amazing. Um, it keeps the nails shiny, it keeps the fingers hydrated, uh, especially after using acetone and so many chemicals around the cuticle area. The fingers can become like super, super dry, um, which doesn't look very appealing at all so I like to make sure that my my fingers look very hydrated and stuff especially whenever I'm doing um, tutorials and stuff and makeup tutorials as you can also tell I've taken my ring off the reason why I take my ring off especially all jewelry is because since we are messing with chemicals we don't want any of those chemicals to ruin any of the jewelry so it's a very wise decision to make sure that you take off the jewelry so that way you don't ruin anything okay so um, after that and everything I'm gonna go ahead and do my uh, base coat on my other hand and then I'll be right back to do the top coat Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready to do the clear top coat now. Um, so the top coat is pretty much the same thing, just like we did with the other. And if you happen to hear Obi in the background, it's because he has his squeak toy and everything, as always. Um, I mean, otherwise, he would be on our laps all the time because he loves his attention. Um, I seriously wish... Um, Prince was still here because if he was, I'm pretty sure him and Obi would become best friends because he's never, Prince never knew another dog like himself. So, but yeah, I'm not going to talk about that. I'll get too emotional. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so now that I've done the base coat and top coat, you can see extremely how shiny they are. And now you guys know exactly how I do this dark ombre fade. There are so many things that you can do with airbrush. Um, I do plan on doing other looks. It just, right now, I still happen to be out of other shades of acrylic airbrush paint. Um, so later on in the future, I will be doing that. Um, there's other things that you can do. You can airbrush stencils. Um, you can do different color combinations. You can do two different color fades. There's a lot of stuff. Um, if you would like me to do stuff like that and more tutorials like this, please let me know. Otherwise, please like, subscribe, please share, become a part of the Angel Group or the Angel Army, however you like to say it. Um, and if you haven't, please sign up for Patreon. There is a lot of stuff over there on Patreon behind the scenes and the making of all of this stuff. Anyways, I love you all and I will see you all later. Bye!